Hello again, friends. When I watch one of the public television stations, they sometimes run the little disclaimer video of a groundhog showing his head above ground, but then ducking down into his hole. The point being that some things are not suitable to be seen, for instance, by children. It begs the question of all of us, what do we want to focus on today? The Bible gives us words to pray that really turn us in the right direction. Guide me into the paths that please you, for I take delight in all that you say. Cause my heart to bow before your words of wisdom and not to the wealth of this world. Help me turn my eyes away from illusions so that I pursue only that which is true. Drench my soul with life as I walk in your paths. Whether it's television or social media, how much time do we spend watching and thinking about things that are just illusions of reality? Where is God in our choices for what we see and give our attention to? We're encouraged again by God's word to return our thoughts and focus to where God is and how we can bring his goodness into whatever's going on. The Lord's word is true and he's faithful in everything he does. He loves goodness and justice. The Lord's faithful love fills the earth. But the Lord's decisions are good forever. His plans are good for generation after generation. Great blessings belong to those who have the Lord as their God. I believe this is a huge challenge, not just to younger generations, but to us all. We need so much more focused time on God's good plans and his true words and our minds kept from those things that are just not suitable to be seen. I can't come up with words that are better than those words from Psalm 119. So let's pray them again together. Guide me into the paths that please you, for I take delight in all that you say. Cause my heart to bow before your words of wisdom and not to the wealth of this world. Help me turn my eyes away from illusions so that I pursue only that which is true. Drench my soul with life as I walk in your paths. Reassure me of your promises, for I am your beloved, your servant who bows before you. Defend me from the criticism I face for keeping you beautiful words. See how I long with cravings for more of your ways. Let your righteousness revive my spirit. Amen. Let's do our best again today to stay away from things not suitable to be seen and bring our focus to all the good God is offering to us.